hello guys what's up welcome to spicy updates with lovely on how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing okay please do not forget to like this video please be subscribed to the youtube channel thank you as always <laughs> hey god oh. you see this sean and wani relationship honestly is a blessing in disguise to sean don't ask me why before i come into all that details let me talk about this ben this ben eh? this ben is just a, a t h i e f what did you guys see Ben last night? Midnight, Ben was stealing people's eggs because Biggie asked him to. Yes, we know that they've been misusing eggs. Oh, more eggs. <laughs> egg they cost so. Like, somebody, oh, one person will fry like four eggs, five eggs. You see the way they are just doing the egg because sometimes one person will have like how many crisps. So they were, and this last week they lost their wager. They don't even know whether this week they are going to get the wager or lose the wager. So Biggie felt like they were this part. What if they lose their wager? I think he's even um it's even good for them that they withdraw or you know retrieve those eggs back from them so that at least if they lose their wager they can he can really resupply it or claim he came to pick he came and picked them or anything so biggie gave um ben these tax asking him to do that and he was going to be rewarded and this young man has successfully completed like the housemates when they are sleeping he will just go and be packing all <laughs> Especially Sean Wani, Suj and Co. He packed all their eggs. I hope he added his own. There is, that is if he has eggs remaining. But, you know, some other person would have... If he's somebody like Suj, someone like Suj would have declined that offer. He would have said, oh, big brother, you know we don't have food in the house. Oh, you don't eat this. But Ben eh, did the work. He wants to be rewarded. I said, okay. <laughs> no problem. You have done the work. But you guys, yes. Like yesterday after the tax, Biggie asked them to eat. You guys, you need to see how they rushed to tell you that they are hungry. Because they have just been eating noodles, noodles. They lost their wages, so they didn't supply them with food. All those things that they would cook, cook, chicken, this, that, that. They didn't see food they get to eat. So, Biggie, when Biggie now said, oh yeah, go and eat what the, um, they did Semovita, Semovita tax with different uh, soup, okay, kind of soup uh, festival, soup competition kind of. So, if you see the way they rushed, Biggie said, no, not like that. To tell you that they've missed Swallow <laughs> because they didn't give them supply to make soup, to make rice and stew, all those things that they normally, it's just noodles that they've been eating. So, now Ben has done this. I wonder if Biggie is going to let the housemates know that it was Ben, but I don't think so because it's a secret tax. That means Biggie is not going to be fair on his own part if he actually divulges the whole thing. So he has to keep it as it is. But I said, Ben, get mine though. They tell you to collect other people's items. But you know, say so they eat just because you want to be rewarded. I did it. Ah, Ben, action Ben. Well, let me come to Sean and Wani. Yes, they Sean put Wani for a chat. I know he was going to do that because even while at the while they were having that Semovita tax, that golden penny Samolina tax or Samolina, say the penny Samolina. Now my choice. Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So while they were doing that golden penny semovita choice, mm, sorry, tax, you guys needed to see the way he was just looking at that. In fact, there was a time they talked there. I don't know how many of you watched it. After the they had finished, Big Brother, after they were they had finished, Big Brother said they should eat before they stayed dancing, uh, partying there. There was Sean was just standing by that you know table where they did. There was something he collected, one he collected from him, or he gave one. He, and the way he's just been, his gaze has just been on her. I know that definitely he's looking for every opportunity to call her for either a chat, a conversation, dialogue, whatever it is. I knew he was going to do that, but because pride wouldn't allow him. Okay, do that. Oh, lest I forget, today is Onyeka Chigo's birthday. Happy birthday to Onyeka. Happy birthday to the super talented. Happy birthday to the cry cry baby. Happy day birthday to Ozzy's <laughs> Ozzy's crush. I be crushing on Ozzy. Happy birthday to oh yeah. So you guys, I think I'm going to come to that in a separate video, or probably we'll just make it all up in this video. Okay, just stick by and hope you like it. So you guys, um, Sean has been wanting to. Put Wani for a chat. I've been noticing, but mm, probably mm, where should I be the ones? He was. He's still expecting that this. You know, there is a way you treat someone. Eh, there's a way you treat someone that they will get to a peak where they will be like, ah, I beg, please. Please, like you have a, you can't continue to condescend a servant for like at a time it will really get to their peak and they'll kind of like, I beg this person, please 
go. So, you know, initially, one would have been crying, go, 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 go. But this one is like, as her sister spoke to her, and she said her sister has been in that kind of situation, the last person she was with, that was how the person treated her. So, each time her sister sees some kind of treatment, she gets triggered because you know where you're coming from. She didn't want that for her sister. So, her sister had asked her to step back, and mm, she did just that. Honestly, she did just that, stood her ground, act as if he doesn't exist and it was easier for her why because she has a twin so definitely she has somebody she can easily go back to talk with and you know their bond is very strong they are more like sisters they are more like friends they are like besties they are like partners they are like everything you can think of this um wani and handy like whoa if you don't have twins because of them you wish to have identical twins let me just see if i can get this kind of thing in my home. like what so it doesn't really get to her that much and they are they are the ones that do everything it's not like they are the dizzy type so they can cook for themselves they can do everything for themselves but sean you are left out and sean where are you going to go to you're not going to move to sewage because you've already created that discord and uh, here even if it's not really like you know there is something with nelly too though they were in the same um team yesterday he did literally everything with nelly yesterday because i think both of them were the chef they did everything but then i don't think nelly has totally totally forgotten or forgiven what you said because she didn't really expect that to come from you okay so who do you go to who will you say are you going to body weight twins like these are people that literally do everything for you they do everything for you cook for you you're okay you know so i think he's really missing them whether on a deeper level or not, he's really missing them. But he, at the same time, he still doesn't want to go and say, okay, does you know that kind of price? So finally, he pulled her for a chat and they went to that garden um, area, that bed there, and talk to and camera will just pium off at break, at break, at break. Um, I think there was, was there a break in transmission or something? I think so. Yeah, that yesterday. So, good. Then, we couldn't see how this thing ended, but even as they were there discussing, Sean never apologized. He never said he was sorry. he was still like, no, there is no way you, you, you call me a friend when I have a little issue with you. You just, all the care, you withdraw from caring, you withdraw from being that sweet person, you withdraw from, you know, and this is somebody, when you know that I care so much about you, even while this thing, I don't even, uh, oh, God. Look at the big meat he even gave Sean yesterday. <laughs> you know, that this is still her and all that. I mean, well, remember that Big Brother also, he, okay, when, why Sean went to the diary room that very day while he was crying and when he was crying too? Though he said he doesn't know why he's crying, so we can't conclude that it was because of Wani that he was crying. But I believe he was crying because of himself. Probably this is something he doesn't even know how to go about. You know, there's a character you have that you don't even know how to remove it. Probably he doesn't know how to care for people. He doesn't know how to apologize. He doesn't know how to be that person. Though he can be there for others, especially when it comes to listening here, giving you advice. But maybe that care. He could see, we saw the way he treated Victoria. So now we could all clearly see that this is how this young man is. And uh, probably he doesn't know what to do about it. You know that very day he was telling Big Brother that he's, he hasn't dealt with twins before. This is his first time dealing with twins. Dealing with twins. Like he's with one person, but they come off as a pair. Because definitely, Handy will always come for her sister. That's twin, how twins are. Hey, you won't drag this one. That one will definitely can't be watching you. It's okay. It's not a situation where you're having confrontation with your sister or their brother. And the, the person will be like, okay, let me see how he plays that. It will rush immediately because they are like one. So it's understandable. Though, in as much as we feel Handy should be giving some break, but it's not when he evolves maybe quarrel or anything with her sister definitely she will enter there i can't say you know that very day she was even telling Sean to calm down i'm telling you to calm down i'm I'm telling you to calm down but you don't want to calm down calm down later we can talk about mm, for where Sean wanted it the hell thought, thought. so they had very long discussion conversation very very long i didn't see how they ended it i didn't see the compromise they reached but finally we saw them on same bed though so mm definitely they have but i don't think sean still apologized he did not to uh, uncle young man did not apologize he did not he did not say oh i'm sorry he was still claiming he's right he's this he's that even if he loves the person that because she doesn't do doesn't that he can't he, he is himself one is she not expecting to be like her 
oh god i said okay are you going back to them for strategy's sake because you know that it's going to hover you nobody is going to cook for you nobody is going to care or are you going to them because you really really like this girl you really, really miss her or what then you guys might be wondering why did i say it's a blessing in disguise why i said that because you know that after this show coming out you come out to see a lot of things let me give an instance with mickey and femi david you know mickey and femi david coming out with every, what people are writing all over social media oh femi your mistake was going to the house with mickey la 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 you know coming out to see that kind of thing you now start feeling oh probably i should have stayed longer and in one of his interviews you could see it on his face like you can see because even when biggie asks about when you want to go sorry i'm digressing you guys but i'm just trying to reach a point okay um let me butcher it more okay with this narrative with this instance so you know wh when biggie asked mickey Mickey was like ah there's no other person mickey brought out what in him there's no other person who would have want to go to the house with me. but when they asked femi femi was like ah no he knows this that, that to tell that because imagine sean coming out of the house then to come and see what people are saying about him to me me personally i feel it will be hard for him to get a girl like wani mm. Because this lady just this with who he is, who will do this for him, do that for him, do the other one, do that, and those are the kind of things he likes. He doesn't want he wants to be chased, he wants to be pal pal pal, he wants to be so I think why I say is a disguise is a blessing in disguise. He is going to learn after the show, coming out to see what people are saying. I think that would help him to shape himself more. Because he was even complaining to Big Brother then that why is it that people can't allow him to be himself just the way he is, you know, without kind of having to judge him, how he behaves. But he should come out see some things watch some clips see what people are saying about them and know that oh i really messed up oh i'm not doing this thing well oh i should have done this better oh i should have did this i should have done that that's why i say it's a blessing in disguise because you can be in a relationship with somebody and that relationship is either to make you or marry you so this one may be to make you yeah now i can really say okay even pulling out had it been his with victoria probably different probably wouldn't really see this side of him because victoria might not complain but you may just see how we draw or what but now that this one voices out you know sometimes we've seen like this is like the third or second time now they are having a fallout in this area is that third? it should be third at, at least the one that can keep them not talking for like a day i think this should be the third one or when he said it's the third one but sean said no it's the second but i feel it's even more than safe because sometimes you see that so i think he will come outside to learn to see where he's he's missed it and try to be a better person that will help him in the future it's just that i don't like sometimes if i maybe after the show that's why I'm, where i normally go to people's reactions about them and all that if i start let me start saying what well, let me start pulling people's reactions on the social media platform this video is really going to be very long but then now the show is on we just watch update you guys but post show we are still going to be following their live post show that's when we can because when he comes out to see what people are saying people's reactions to all these things then he should like try to shape it up well that's that for that we are just happy that at least they've made up and let's see how they are going to be moving forward so you guys you've watched this part please if you've not subscribed please do me a favor to do that and if you have not liked please thank you so much hit the like button i'll see you in my next video bye